What's up, doll collectors, hobbyists, fabs, and besties? Today's video takes place in our doll grocery store. Okay, so I've been putting this off long enough and it's time to face the music. One of our fabs and besties sent us an amazing gift and I lost the name. I've been searching for it everywhere, but I just can't seem to find it. So to the Fabs and Bestie who sent us this Remit box, thank you so much. And I'm sorry, this Remit box is from the drugstore set. I think that says Poochie, but I can't make out the rest. Since we don't have the full collection, there are eight possible sets we could get. Thermometer, bath goods, toilet paper, mouthwash, mask, supplement, hand wash, and cosmetics. <gasps> Ooh, I want the cosmetics. Let's open it up to see which one is inside. And we have toilet paper. There's a little card with some paper cutouts. It is in a different language, but no worries because in my miniverse, our dolls speak all languages. Let's cut open the bag. And we've got a whole bunch of toilet paper. Some of them are stuck together and some are individuals. We have a few items where we need to apply stickers. So let's do that. But I'm sorry, cause I don't know what product this is supposed to be. Then there is this little bottle. There's a bag that we have to put together. Then place the toilet paper inside for packaged toilet paper. And the top stays open so we can take it out. This, I am pretty certain, is a little sponge in a package. And then there is a plastic grocery bag, which is totally doll-sized. Oh yeah! Let's just put some of these items in the cart since I don't have a place to display them. Or we can use some of our mini brands shelving just to make a tiny little countertop display. Usually, I don't really like getting the displays because I think they are too small, but it might be perfect for a little counter display. Remember this doll from earlier? She is one of our little made-to-move hybrids. I took a Disney Princess Creative Soul doll and put her on a classic made-to-move body. However, she ended up with a little bobblehead. So I was thinking, let's put her on a curvy body. This is Barbie Looks doll number two. I think the curvy Barbies have slightly thicker necks. I could be wrong, but it looks that way to me. So hopefully it will reduce some of the bobblehead. Everyone, say it with me. Off with their heads. I placed the dolls in a plastic bag then into a cup of hot water until the head is soft and can be easily removed. Place the head on the body. Nope, we still have bobble head. Let's restyle her hair a little. I'm doing twist. It's my go-to style because I love locks and I feel like they're pretty close. I kept them a little large to save time, but I do plan on rerouting her when I get the chance because there was some shedding and we have a few gaps in the back. So we'll just keep her facing forward. Okay, so I really wanted the cosmetics because I love miniature makeup. It's super cute. So I kind of bought the whole set from Amazon. I paid $52 and some change for an eight piece set. So that comes out to be about $6.53 per box. There's a little paperboard backdrop inside, but it's too small for our one six scale miniatures. And I'm pretty eager to get to that makeup. So let's open them up. And our first one is mask. Here's the paper cutouts and all the little items. Some assembly is required. We have to put together the little boxes and there is stuff to go inside them. It says Hana through. Hana is nose, right? It's a nasal spray and you can take the top off. What? 
Then you can put it in the box so it's not an empty box, which is cool. Just saying. There's a bag and a mask, a box of medicine, and if you look closely, a few of them have been used. There are even little details on the back. And there's a plastic box of tissue. So if we count each item and its packaging, there are four items in this box. On to the next. This is supplements. Ooh, we get money. And there are little coins. We have to carefully remove all of these supplements and place them in the bottle without losing them. Did I do it? Yay, I did. Remint is no joke. And then there's a little cap that goes on top. Yeah, I'm probably gonna lose all of those. Since we're applying stickers to everything, you could probably customize them by making your own labels. That could be fun. This product is recommended for ages 15 and up. And in our next box, we have the thermometer set. Here are the paper cutouts. They are getting me with all these stickers. This one is actually pretty fun to me. It looks like we're getting a lot of stuff for if we were sick. The basket is a little larger than a mini brands basket. There's a large water bottle, a thermometer. I wanna say that's soup. Maybe those are soup. This might help to reduce a fever. I don't know. Then there's a little pack of something. Yeah, look at those awesome describing skills, y'all. For the most part, they look pretty good with a doll. Oh, and that's vitamin water. And this might be rice. But so far with what we have, if our dolls were to get sick, I think we've got them covered. Our next box is the mouthwash set. Here are the paper cutouts. The toothbrush is pretty cool. We place a sticker on the back to hold it into the case. Facial deodorant sheets, and they go in this little bag here. See, I love the mouthwash. This is a deodorant spray. Here's another one. It's fresh citrus. And there are what looks like mints, but they can't fit in the case. So I only took out a few of the mints or gum, and I'll leave the other ones attached. We are halfway through. All we have left is bath goods, toilet paper, hand wash, and cosmetics. And this is bath goods. Yay! Those bottles look pretty nice. I'm not sure I want to put the labels on them. The labels are for shampoo and conditioner. I'm totally leaving them off. There's a little face mask, a little tube of foam. This one looks pretty cool. And I'm guessing this is soap or bath bombs. They fit into the little bags. Then we place them in the box. The number of items in a box isn't consistent. Some have a little more and some have a little less. I'm totally adding these to my doll's vanity. Oh, and here are the paper cutouts. With just three to go, we should run across that makeup soon. Nope, this is toilet paper. Well, at least our shelves will be fully stocked. Two to go. And is this our makeup? Is this the makeup? It is. Cosmetics. And there's a nails cutout. This looks like a nice addition to the Remit makeup set. There's a compact with a mirror sticker. Mineral cream that's supposed to go in a little case. But it's so cute, I kind of want to keep it out. It's the perfect size to go in a doll purse. Oh, and there's a little applicator for the compact. It says remake on top instead of remint. Ha! There's a clear container of eyeshadow that opens and there's a little tiny applicator. There is also blush and it opens. I'm gonna drop it, it's so tiny. And there's another applicator lipstick that opens and teeny tiny nail polish how cute are these they're like sparkly or like pearly and everything i like the colors the shape of the bottles 
And we can remove the brush. Can we do it on all of them? Okay, the pink one works. Everything's so tiny. What about the purple one? Oh, yes! Love it, love it, love it. And the very last one should be the hand wash set. Here are the cutouts. Then there is this, a box of mask. The plastic bag can't fit inside, but if you take the mask out, it can fit in the box. There's a plastic bank card, a bottle of hand soap. I'm guessing this is more soap. I like the bottle, but I wasn't great at putting the label on, so I'll probably take that off later. And a small container of wet tissue. I guess like wet ones and the top comes off and you can see them inside. You see that? <gasps> That's pretty cool. And that is the drugstore remint set. The cosmetics were definitely my favorites and we will be adding them to the dollhouse. Thank you for joining us while we checked out some more remint and thank you to our fabsome bestie who introduced us. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at myfroggystufftheFrogVlog and Bella of MyFroggyStuff. And we will see you next time.